Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got something new today. I just took delivery of my brand new Lapia Cross Hill 5.0. This is Lapia's first ever gravel bike range and I've been delivered the top end spec, which is super cool. Uh, thank you to those guys. So if we do a quick overview of the bike, we got a alloy frame with a carbon fork, full GRX group set with the two by uh, chain ring on the front. So you got the big ring and the small ring, which I quite like because there's a lot of really big hills here in South Wales like the one I just come up. Uh, also with that then we've got the GRX hydraulics, uh, super reliable, super powerful, uh, which is nice for a longer adventure ride in. We're going to do a one day today, but there will be a couple of other videos. Um, we've got Lapia dropper post and the drop, dropper post lever is actually inside the bar. So if you're actually on the tops or on the drops, it's easy accessible to put up and down. So that is really nice. WTB 37C Riddler tires, uh, they're way too hard at the moment. Uh, which I've just found out coming down some uh, trails there. But um, got to put some stand sealant in it and then we can drop the pressures, um, get a bit more grip. We've got Mavic tire, uh, Mavic rim, sorry, on a Lapia hub, which is also Mavic, I believe. Um, and that's it. And then we've got some finishing components with Lapia or FSA. Um, and we've got Crank Brothers pedals. And that's it, really. Today we're going to go on a bit more of an adventure ride, so we're going to go in my local area in South Wales. We're going to go up over to the windmills in Haven Valley, then up over into Avonago, do some actual mountain bike trails, which I can do on a cyclocross bike, I think. That's going to be interesting. And then we're going to go around the back, up over to the masts, to go overlook into Swansea and Port Talbot. So we've got quite a big day, one day adventure. Um, but over the next couple of months, I'm hoping to do some maybe two day adventures. Um, and some more epic riding so yeah thanks to the guys at Lapierre that's enough talking let's get riding Yeah, about an hour from my house, completely uphill for one little descent in between, but yeah, I haven't done that for a long time, so that was good to do, and that's what a gravel bike does, it allows you to get out and explore two paths which you may not come across or may not want to do on a mountain bike, because, you know, there's no point doing on a mountain bike, but a gravel bike gives you that unique feel and that unique sort of ride. But coming up there, that would be quite easy on a on a mountain bike, and to be fair, it's quite easy on this, but it's a different way of riding, it's more enjoyable, it's not like a boring slog, it's actually an enjoyable, challenging climb, which is really cool. So, we're gonna go up, do a bit of the blade, there's like a, a nice wind farm trail, I think it's called wind farm, down, and we're gonna come back up, we're gonna go through the gate here, up to the windmill, and down the other side, so, yeah, here comes the fun stuff now, which is the rewarding part to the uphill, so, let's go check it out. Bike park. We're gonna try the outside line, not the jump line, the outside line. 
Uh, the wall 373 was a bit interesting. It was a bit rough. So um, yeah, this is quite rough. But I think if you go slow and just take your take your time, it'll actually be quite fun on uh, on this bike. We're gonna head over the Blue Scar after this, do the really flowy trail, which is the Blue Run, um, and then yeah, start to do a bit of climbing, and then back home. So yeah, it's been fun so far. A bit rough, but you go pick and choose your battles, pick your climbs, and yeah, it's not too bad. So let's head down. I'm on my own. Okay, that doesn't make it any easy, you know, good, but yeah, at least no one can see me. Boys. sealant and some valves and get it tubeless as soon as possible because I think if I'm going to do stuff like this it is the only way I'm going to survive long rides so task next week tubeless So I'm going to finish the video up here, my GoPro's just died, uh, i got a bit of climbing to do to finish off so I may just take a quick iPhone video, but uh, what, what have I learned today, so the gravel bike, pretty sick, um, first time actually on a gravel bike so lots of learning to do, I have to get this thing tubeless otherwise I'm going to spend a lot of time fixing punctures, so I'll be contacting stands this week to get some uh, valves, i got enough sealant so just got to get some uh, suck across valves and stuff like that. Tires I think are okay. I would like some wider ones just to have a better, some better grip in some of the turns, but that's just to get used to. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. You do forget sometimes you do have a dropper post. So if you do have a gravel bike or do get one, dropper post makes a world of difference and you won't even realize. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Like, subscribe. We're gonna do a lot more gravel bike videos this year. Uh, next one I'll do on this bike is a bike check. So yeah, thanks a lot, Pierre. It's been a great ride and uh, See you on the next one.